What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this awesome Montezuma garage storage system. I'm gonna show you how it's packaged. I'm gonna show you how it's delivered. And I'm also gonna show you how to unbox it the correct way and kind of put it together because there's a little bit of a tricky stuff in here if you're just looking at the instructions. But if you follow this video, this thing will work out perfectly, just like this. You guys, check it out. So you guys are probably wondering why I have an 18 wheeler with a lift gate backed up against another trailer. Well, that's just simple because I knew I'd have to unload this package by myself. I knew it'd be quite heavy and I knew the trailer that I was putting it on would allow me to back my truck up over the top of it to slide the packages into my pickup to transport it to where I need it, which is going to be at my new shop. Obviously, this is being delivered at my old shop because I needed the room there, and that's also where my truck and trailer was. So it just made sense to have it done this way. So you guys are probably wondering what's in this pallet that is shrunk wrap and obviously lots of multiple boxes on top. And that is the Montezuma Garage Storage System. It's a really cool design that they did. Um, once we put it together, it'll probably amaze you at how big this system actually is. And it all fits on this one pallet. And as you'll see here later, once I get the pallet on the truck, I move my pickup under it and I'm able to just put it right on the truck with no problem and able to do it by myself. So the whole entire garage storage oh, system good. will fit in the back of a regular pickup truck. I have just a regular Toyota Tundra, and I even have a toolbox in it. The whole system fit inside of there, no problems. As you can see, the pallet's about six foot tall, and it's obviously about a four foot by four foot. Um, so that was the whole purpose of the trailer. You don't have to do this if you have a way to just move it there, but I'm putting it in my new shop and things are kind of tight right now because I don't have all the concrete finished in the front. Here's what it looks like. So we'll show you what it does. All right, guys, so today's video is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a complete garage storage system. I know it don't look like much. It's just a bunch of boxes. But the way Montezuma has designed this thing is really, really cool. And this is going to make an awesome garage storage system to go along the wall in my new shop. So you guys take a look at how cool this is and how easy it is to put together and some clever design that they did to make it easy for you to ship as well as put together. It's not like Ikea. This one's pretty cool. All right, guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, this is the entire system. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes that all combine together to make this system right here. So it's pretty cool how they got it, and that way you can kind of keep up with things as you're building it. You can see they got a graph on here that's got, each one's denoted by numbers, like this is cabinet B, which is this part here. It's got it broke down with A through F and it tells what they do. So you can completely customize this system to fit your needs and the way you want it for your shop. And the configuration that they have is pretty freaking cool. Um, I showed this at SEMA, I think it was two or three years ago. It's a really cool system. So super blessed to have this here. It's gonna look fantastic on this wall. And I'll show you how cool it is and the way it puts it together. And that way you guys can see the finished product. And don't run away because we got some exciting news in this video. So you guys, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start just by unboxing it and we'll show you kind of what it's like to uh, put it together get it all installed. Let's do this. Uh, 
So the base cabinet, once you cut the straps, the box just slides up off of it and it leaves it on the stand. This is the four drawer base and it looks like the only thing you have to do on it is install the feet, which is super cool. Um, I was reading the directions and it says if you purchased other units, assemble them now and then put them together and bolt them together. So what I'm gonna do is do all the base cabinets, um, which will be um, the cabinets on each side and the other base, which is there. So I'll unbox the base cabinets and go ahead and get all them put together. We'll get the feet put on this one. They just screw in with these, super simple. And then we'll kind of put them in place and that way we can kind of build off of that. And I think it'll make it a whole lot easier. So let's try it. And it's super simple, just stick them in there. And what I did is I just counted the threads and got my stop nut about the same on all of them. And then you just thread it up till it bottoms out and it looks like that. Okay, so the next part we're gonna try to tackle is the two door tall cabinet. I know since it was a bigger box and it was tall, I figured it'd have more pieces. So I thought I'd get it out of the way now. So I've got all the pieces laid out. Each one of them are marked and it comes with an instruction booklet. So these are all the pieces this is the bottom, we seen the feet, so we went ahead and put it on. May not be right, yep, I don't know, but that's where we started. So we'll get the instruction booklet and get this put together, and that'll be the second fully assembled piece. Okay, so it shows the two panels will go together and there's a stiffener, as you see, and it looks like the slanted part here. Now this is a little bit tricky, but super simple. Watch how it goes together. That hole lines up, and those two line up. So that's the front stiffener. And then the back will get this piece like shown here. So that's how that goes. Then on that side, this slides up in there, bolts line up, screw, two screws here, put the other panel on. Okay, so this is how it looks after you get the two panels together. This is the stiffener that originally looked like this on that side and just the regular L bracket on this side. Notice it's got a gap here. You put the two screws in it that puts the whole panel together as one unit. Okay, on your cabinet, make sure when you put it down, you're gonna have some holes like these on this side. They go on the bottom, put all your flat sides up. This is the back of the cabinet, so make sure your curved sides is towards the floor and pretty simple, you just, stick these four bolts in, the bottom goes on. The top's pretty much the same thing, slides down this way, goes over your two nut zerks down there, screw there, screw here on each side, and that's your top. Then we lay the back on it and screw it down. All right, so installing your back panel, you wanna start at the top because it overlaps as you go down. So it's kind of like a shingle, each one kind of goes over each other. Um, when you get to the bottom, this hole will actually be underneath here. This screw locks it all down, so don't panic if you get to that point. So we'll get all these tightened down. I just left them loose, and that way you can adjust everything and kind of keep it square as you go. And then now that we've got all of our screws in, we'll go back and tighten them down. All right, so we've already got A and C door put together. This is B and D, so it'll be the top and bottom. Now you'll have to use your trim and this goes in here and that kind of supports the front. Bolt, bolt, nut, nut. Make sure you line your trim up on your door. I'll show you what it looks like when you get that together. All right, so the doors are super simple to hang. You take the Phillips head screws and you just start them in the frame and then you can set it through that notch and it drops down and you tighten them up. Super easy to do, just remember your door stop, which is here on your left side and your door lock goes on the right side to finish it out. So obviously the clips go in the back and the front edge here for the shells. But as you can see, it's got the holes so we can bolt it together with our full system. So I'm gonna wait about putting the shells in it until I get all the system built and then we'll connect it together at that time. So that's it for the tall locker. 
which was pretty simple. All right, so I just unboxed the two door base cabinet and you can see it come in that box about that wide. And this is how it comes packaged. But what's cool is the way this thing folds out, if I can do it one handed, it just kind of pops out. Put your top on with the stiffeners. You put your bottom on and that's that. That's how simple that is to put that one together. All right, so when you put these on, the screws go in from the bottom and there's the two little metal pieces. You'll see where they go. They kind of clip on the inside of this lip and screw through the top. But that's all they are to put the base cabinet together. That one's super, super simple. I went ahead and moved it in place beside the tall cabinet and then I'll move the drawer base over here, but I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna use this base as a workbench to install or put together the rest of the cabinets and then I'll move it over there in place when it's done. Okay, so the upper cabinets are super simple. They just pop out with the hinge. You just put the top and the bottom on, nothing complicated, super, super, super easy. That's the flip up door. The two drawer, same way. It just pushes in the bottom with the rest of them, screws in, top does the exact same thing. Um, the pegboard kit, you bolt a piece that goes like way down to about here. There's three screws on each side. There's another piece that goes in, screws on, um, and they screw through the back into the pegboard. You stack the pegboard up, do the same thing again. And the cabinet, you just, Put two screws at the top, it hangs on there, and then you put two more, done deal, super easy. As you can see, this is the progress we got now. We've got to get the other pegboard on, uh, get the top mounted, mount the other top, but I'm going to bolt them together as we go, and that way it'll be a finished job when it's done. Okay, so the bottom cabinet that we had, we got the top cabinet, same exact thing, it pops out. You just put the bottom on, it's the screws around the top, same way with the top side. So the way this works, this sits up on top of this one and you'll get these bolts and the, the nuts. Um, I actually had to go through a couple different bags to get the nuts. But they'll go through the top and through the bottom and bolt it together. So let me get it set up there and we'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I trial fitted the top up here, looked through the holes that's there and I didn't see no holes. So I think you gotta take the center bolts out on the front and back and then the longer bolts will go through all of those. So let me try that and I'll confirm. Okay, so I was right. Um, that did work when I took the screws out of the top here and here. It worked for the screws here. It went through the bottom and into it on each side. The directions didn't say that, but it works in this application. It may not be right, I don't know, but it works and it fits fine. So that's what the top double door cabinet looks like. <clears throat> Next, I will have to put the pegboard kit on this and hang that. Then we can bolt it all together and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so another little tricky thing I wanna show you guys, there is a keyhole here when you get ready to put your pegboard on. You would think it would go in there, it does not. The first screw has to go in the very bottom and you screw it up. And the second piece, is just slides down here like that. And then the third piece slides in here. And this is where your top cabinet will hang and then you bolt your pegboard on the front. I know I didn't cover that when I talked about this one, but since I was putting this together, I thought I might wanna share that with you because it's a little bit tricky on that spot right there. So now, you know. All right guys, so when you get ready to put your box up there, you see the keyholes. Go ahead and start your top two screws in your top box and then you can just set it up there. All right, so then you just grab it, set it up there, stick your two screws in, and it's a done deal. So, just line it up, put it on each side, and it'll hold itself there. 
and you can start your other screws in it, put your pegboard pieces on, and you're good to go. All right, guys, so you gotta put your rubber grommets in, your holes that come in the bag, and then you can pull your plastic off to have your stainless steel surface showing, and that's going to be super satisfying. But before I do that, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get it put in position and get ready to bolt it up. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the bolts um, in the stuff, so you're gonna have to get your own bolts. So if you look in the back of your manual, it talks about um, adding other bolts. For a better appearance, attach the units together using M6 by 16 hex head screws and flange nuts. Um, so you'll need to pick those up separately. And you can see where they've got the holes located that you can bolt it together. And then it comes with the little plastic plugs, the little plastic plugs to put in the holes when you're doing. Um, I've actually got a light kit for mine, so I'm trying to install the light kits. I'll show you what those look like here. It's the five bar LED light kit. It's five 12 inch long LED bars that go in your cabinets and they daisy chain together. Um, another thing I want to point out too is on your tall cabinet here, you'll have to make sure your shelf is in the center because that's how your door locks. So keep that in mind when you're installing all your shelves and that way you'll be able to have it the way you want it and be able to lock your doors if you so desire. So let me get all this put back together and we'll get it installed and I'll show you what the light kit looks like. Okay, if you've elected to do the light kits, it's really cool. Comes with a sticky back magnet. You peel the sticky off and you attach it to the magnet. And obviously the magnet will stick to your box. When you get these kits out, look for the ones with the power. That will be the one that controls everything. Um, and then you'll daisy chain off of the one with the power, which is this one, into the next one. And then from that one into the next one and so forth and so on. So what I've done is I have put four of them under my work surface where it'll be nice and bright. And then when you get ready to cut them on, I gotta do is reach under here and hit the one that's got the power indicator and that's what it looks like with four. So we've got the other four installed here and the other box of lights we're gonna put in this tall cabinet over here and that will be that. Okay, so here's what the whole entire thing looks like put together with the lights and the shelves installed. Very nice system. Um, the lock lift and lock drawer latches, it's all aluminum. Very nice system. Well, it's steel, but it's aluminum trim. Um, you can see the light kits under there. And I have the light kit installed in here. And it's really bright, it's really nice. So you'll be able to see everything. And it's simply just reach up here and touch it to turn it on. Very, very nice storage system. The shelves are adjustable. Um, I've got this larger here because I'm wanting to put a shop vac in there. But there's what it looks like all put together. Extremely nice system. I will say this, after doing this system here, I definitely think it's best to peel the plastic coating off your stainless before you install them so you can get it all off. Um, and here's what I was talking about, about the shelf with the lock and latch. Um, I can get the camera on here. So it kind of locks under the shelf through the door. So that's why you have to have that shelf in the center. But super cool system. I definitely like the way it looks. It's very neat, very clean. And for you guys that's waited this long and watched this video, I promised you I had some exciting news that I was going to share with you. And now I'm gonna tell you what's up and what the purpose of this is.
All right, so you guys that stuck around this long, you're probably here to hear what news that I promised you at the end of this video, and here it is. Obviously, the Montezuma Garage Storage System is a fantastic add-on. It's super simple to assemble and install, and for the money, you just can't beat that. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what this is going to be used for, why have I got it here, the whole nine yards. So here is part of that exciting news. Recently, I was offered a full-time position to go to work with them, Tools, um, that encompasses some marketing stuff and also some videos and pictures and, all, and whatnot. I'm super excited and super pumped to be a part of the VIM team. For you guys that know, that's watched my channel for a while, about five years ago, I did a video on some VIM tools that I purchased. Yes, I did say purchased. Um, and I did a video review on them because they were excellent quality tools for the money. And that kind of led into the relationship that I have with the guys from VIM. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I've made several trips down there. Um, when they first started building their new building, we went to the old warehouse and did a tour and I kind of introduced you guys to those guys. Um, that was kind of the start of doing videos with those guys. And since then we've done quite a few. Um, so that was super exciting to get the chance to go to work with those guys full time. And I'm looking forward to it and getting started with it. So, that's kind of where the Montezuma storage system comes into play. Obviously part of the job going forward, we're going to start a new segment called the break room that will be on the VIM tools channel. And in those videos, we're going to be putting tools to the test. We're going to be trying different stuff with tools and we're going to be pushing them to the limit, hence the name break room. Um, but it's not going to be all about just breaking stuff. Obviously, um, it's something kind of like where you guys could take a break and learn something about some of the VIM tools, some of the stuff that they've got going forward, and some of the designs. Um, it's going to encompass a ton of stuff, guys. It's going to talk about the technology that goes into their tools, the kind of materials that they use that differentiates them from other companies. and you know, just some of the uh, thought processes that went into some of the sets and some of the designs that they have. So it's gonna be a really cool segment. I'm looking forward to getting that kicked off. And I feel honestly blessed as I could ever ask for to be a part of the VM team. I love those guys and um, I feel like it's a perfect move for me because I love to shoot video. I love to take pictures of tools. I love to play with tools. I love to talk about tools and demo tools and like it's all wrapped up. Every bit of that's put in one lovely little ball for me. So it's a perfect thing. And I feel honored that I am part of that team. So hopefully you guys will check that out over on the VIM channel. We'll be getting some content coming in the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be really cool. Um, for you guys that's looking to purchase this Montezuma, don't be scared of it. This thing is fantastic. It's packaged well when it's shipped. It's easy to transport the way it folds out. Super easy to assemble. You can do it by yourself. Um, it is better to have two people to do it because some of the stuff is a little bit heavy, but you know, you can manage it by yourself. It's not that big a deal. Um, it's a great product. I'm super blessed to have that. And I uh, want to thank the guys from Montezuma. Also want to thank the guys from VIM for making all of this happen with the new opportunity to go forward working with them. Like always guys, thank y'all for watching this channel. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. Check over there for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to take your finger and click that button. We're gonna have a lot of really cool stuff going forward. I mentioned earlier that, you know, um, going to work with them, I'm hoping we can do a lot of giveaways and a lot of fun stuff on this channel as well. But anyway guys, that's the video. Hopefully you liked it. Y'all have a great day. See ya.